science experiment from the stuff that we will later show you. And the difference is this has no mulch and stuff to keep it warm. We planted ryegrass and rapeseed for a cover crop this year, didn't we? Yeah. Yeah, and the ryegrass and the rapeseed will help prevent erosion and also to um, bring nutrients up from further down in the ground so that it makes healthier plants next year, right? Uh-huh. The mulch is to keep it warm just like we told you down there, but they're different because we just put leaves on here. In the leaves, we put um, a couple layers on, and the way we do that is just to keep it warmer for the winter. It will stay warmer, and it will be better when you produce it. Okay, one of the crops in our CSA is popcorn. Uh, we plant three varieties of popcorn. We plant a red popcorn, a white popcorn, and a blue popcorn. And then at the end of the year, after it's all dried down, uh, we shell it. And our shareholders get a jar of popcorn. We layer it in there, red, white, and blue. So they get a red, white, and blue popcorn and a little thank you note at the end of the year. Um, the way we shell the corn is with this corn sheller that when I was a kid, uh, my grandfather on my mom's side had a big garden and one year he decided to plant popcorn and it was called strawberry popcorn so it was these little little ears about like this and we had a bunch of them and we all thought it was gonna be pretty good popcorn but we didn't have any way to shell it so grandpa would bring it down and if you wanted to have popcorn that night you'd have to shell it all out by hand and it would take forever because these are kind of sharp and you know, kids trying to do this. So the next year, Grandpa went to the seed catalog and he found this corn sheller. And so he bought that corn sheller and then he made this little box here for it. And I can remember as a kid, we used to go up to Grandpa's and we'd sit in the back of his pickup with all the corn for the year after he'd get it dried down and we'd shell it down and fill this box up. Grandma, after Grandpa died, you know, had the old corn sheller and everything and she knew that, you know, we were still gardening and so she thought maybe we would have a use for it. So. Uh, we had it here for quite a few years and then we started growing popcorn in our CSA and lo and behold there it is and it comes in really handy. You can show a lot of corn a lot faster with that. 